it, it was sexy, but it's just bullshit. And, but, the first, but the first part, which is sort of claim of the high standards of truth that come from professional culture, and here's the kind of, here's the kind of quote, truth that comes from your professional culture. Quote, every free listing on Craigslist means one less paid listing in the local newspaper. Every visit to Wikipedia, it's free information hot, means one less customer for professionally researched and ed edited encyclopedia. Every free music or video upload is one less sale of a CD, meaning one less royalty for an artist who created it. And they just say every defunct re record label and round of newspaper downsizing are a consequence of free user-generated internet content from Craigslist to free music to free encyclopedias to free weblogs. The kind of person who could write that is a person who has never studied anything of economics, right? There is no such thing as this trade-off between... I mean, okay. Well, that's, that's a question you should have asked before you wrote a book that tried to make economic claims that are just plainly false. The point is, you're making a strong claim about facts in the world that happen to be false, despite the fact you're a, quote, professional. And here's my favorite. In a twisted kind of Alice in Wonderland, down the rabbit hole of logic, Silicon Valley visionaries such as Stanford law professor and Creative Commons founder Lawrence Levitt, so far so good. <laughs> <laughs> and cyberpunk William, William Gibson, law of the appropriation of intellectual property. Have you ever read anything I've written, Andrew? And show me one place. In, in the thousands of trees that I've murdered, one place where I've ever lauded the appropriation of intellectual property. Okay, two. Can you show me two? <laughs> can you name one? No, of course you can't, because I've never said anything like this. This has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. Yet once again, you sort of paint this picture of truth backed up by your publisher. Who is your publisher who doesn't have fact checking quality? <laughs> Why don't I sue you? Because I believe arguments are properly placed in context like this, not in courts. And so when you make totally oh, false statements... Oh, God! We should be posting comments about it on the God forbidden you know, blog. You know, I keep you guys keep talking, you know, on and on. <laughs> I, I don't know what happens to those 60 guys that the New York Times can no longer <coughs> hire in Baghdad. Uh, I just, uh, I mean, the, 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 the,